Welcome again to F This Movie. My name is Patrick. And my name is Doug. What a special show we have for you today. Very special. Today. I don't know if you're aware of this, but 2016 (gasps) is an election year (gasps) in which we will elect a new president (gasps) of these United States. (gasps) Correct. (laughs) My support is going behind Donald Trump. It is. That's quite a shocker. Yeah. (laughs) We don't want perverts elected in New York City. No perverts. So we thought this would be a great time to talk about some of our favorite political films. Absolutely. There's movies. a long history films. of politics. I only got some movies on this uh, list. Ah, shoot. All right, let me Sorry. reconfigure my a little list low a little bit. <laughs> Here's something I discovered mm. in trying to come up with my list. Oh. Which is locked away up here. <gasps> in the lockbox. In the noodle. <laughs> um, I don't love movies about politics. Oh. Yeah. I like the political process. Sure. I'm interested in it. Right. Don't particularly care for at least uh, adaptations of the political process on film. Hmm. So my picks are not great. You like the political process. Correct. Do you like uh, political TV shows? Nah, I mean, when they're making fun of politics, yes. Okay. Does okay. that count? What TV shows make fun of politics? Well, uh, the Cleveland show. Have you ever seen <laughs> the Cleveland show? Uh, not necessarily the news. Seven Steps for Dating My Teenage Daughter. Correct. What was the one with the spinning image puppets? Uh, there was a TV show with spinning image puppets? Yeah. I do not know, and I do oh, not want yeah. to see it. It was short-lived. It was a uh, Genesis or Phil Collins video. This yeah, no, I'm it was called like DC Follies or something? Yes! Was Capital about- Critters? Capital Critters? Capital Critters? Critters? Fish Critters? Police? One of my favorites. Uh, Douglas, yeah. what oh. is the first movie on your list? The first movie on my list is Election! Tracy Flick. Yeah, by by transplanting uh, American politics into a high school election, I feel Mm, like mm. that movie says more about the actual political process than most movies which try, than the entirety of House of Cards. (laughs) And I'll tell you why. No one in election is murdered. And it's automatically better. Listen, I think election is tremendous. I know election personally. (laughs) And uh, he does wonderful things. I know elections. I have the best elections. <laughs> Tremendous election. Best Reese Witherspoon performance? Best by a long shot. Excellent Matthew Broderick performance? Great. Probably second greatest Matthew Broderick performance. Second greatest Chris Klein performance? What's the first greatest Chris Klein performance? Uh-huh, right? Election is a great movie. It's a wonderful movie. It's probably my favorite Alexander Payne movie. I would I would endorse that opinion. Oh, yeah. So what else it has is on, my endorsement. Dude, what's on... I, well, I saw what you did there. Here's a movie that's really not about politics at all, and yet it has the word president in the title. Okay. And that is The American President. My name is Andrew Shepard, and I am the president. That's a, crazy. It's about politics. It's really not. It's mostly no, you got a Richard Dreyfus. Comedy. Oh, that's true. You got Richard Dreyfus like, My name's Bob <laughs> Rumson, and I'm running for president. The politics are <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I'm tremendous. <laughs> it's a ridiculous. Take a bite out of crime, Bob yes. Rumson. Is <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's Aaron, Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin. Of course. It's, Everyone's it's walking the, and talking. It's the precursor to The West Wing, which I, is a show bumps. I happen to like a lot. They're doing bumps. It's uh, Michael J. Fox is in it. Martin Sheen, who is the president in West Wing, right. is the, so the wait, chief of did, staff. Did, in, Andrew, did Andrew Shepard die and then he was promoted to president? I think that's what happened. In the oh chronology, in the gosh. closed loop of Sorkin political drama, I think that's Annette exactly. Burn, Benning, oh, Annette Annette Burning. Annette Benning turned out to be a crazy... I'm feeling the Annette Burn murder. <laughs> uh, so I love The American President. It's not a great movie about politics, but uh, it does take place uh, in the White House. And it's in a political sphere. Yes. The realm of politics. Uh, My next pick is the movie Sphere. Sphere. With Dustin Hoffman. Directed by Penelope (laughs) Spheris. My next pick is uh, Argo. I'm going to Argo. It's a political thriller. I like it. I like it too. I'm putting it on my list because... I haven't seen The Candidate. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't either. Uh, and I was going to go with, like, All the President's Men. Right, and that's fine. Dr. That's Strange on every Love. list. Like, that's on every good. list. Right. They're good movies. I'm talking over you an awful lot. It's fine. Like, I don't have Wag the Dog on my list. Okay. I don't. I just don't, everyone. I don't have... There's nary a Bullworth. What about that one scene? Uh, which one is that? <laughs> Where Warren Beatty raps? Now, people got their problems, the has and the have not, but the ones that make me listen pay for 30-second spots. When he's all like, a rep, 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 a rep, a rep, 
I'm here to rap, and you're here to say, I love Fruity Pebbles in a major way. Um, yeah, All the President's Men, not on my list. Uh, I mean, it would be on my list, but I'm not going to talk about it here, because boring Dr. Strangelove would be on my list. Well, time out, time out. Boring to talk about here. I'd rather talk about Dave, the romantic comedy starring Kevin Klein. Where he switches places with the president who yes. dies, and they're like, find a Dave who looks like this president. Kevin Klein is like, I'm that Dave. <laughs> and then Dave becomes the president. Right, and he slashes budgets and saves Correct. the American population, the populace, lots of money. Correct. He gets in that big loader thing, and he says something about this big. I once caught a fish this big. And then he fights the alien queen. Get away from her, you bitch! <sighs> You know, I saw Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, another movie that's on every yeah. political movie list. Yeah. It's fine. And I love I love uh, both Frank Capra and Jimmy Smith, who I think is the star of It's a Wonderful Life. Jimmy Smith <gasps> from the West Wing. So I love Mr. Smith. Go no, I love uh, Frank Capra. I love James Stewart, Jimmy Stewart. And I saw Mr. Smith Goes to Washington for the first time about five years ago. And it's, um, it's fine. It's so it a, is on your list? It's not on my list. And that's why I'm, I'm <laughs> giving defense. Do you want to defense. talk about movies that aren't on our list? Yes, okay. <laughs> the Flintstones. Not on my list. <laughs> no. Shit. Um, I'm going to put out there Milk. Okay. With Sean Penn. Very Sir good. Sean Penn. Ooh. Savior of Haiti. <laughs> uh, Milk is a movie about a young man who wants to get into city council and uh, make a difference in his neighborhood of people who are underrepresented. Right. And uh, it's very well done. Yes. And uh, the screenwriter won an Oscar for that. You know what? I'm confusing it with I Am Sam, which and I could not remember the politics in that movie, but mm. uh, <laughs> Milk. Which one I, has Juliet Lewis? I will check it out. <laughs> That's the one I like. <laughs> Don't worry, because I've been house trained. My last pick, I think, is the most obvious one. Oh. Uh, my favorite movie about politics ever is uh, 1991's Point Break. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and please don't forget to vote! I am a super delegate! Yes, <laughs> that's exactly it. That's exactly right. It took me a second to remember both the line <laughs> and the thing I should trade it for. Uh, Point Break, my favorite political movie. Uh, the last thing I'll mention is The Queen! <laughs> <laughs> Helen Mirren as the Queen, dealing with the nation's... Uh, Need to mourn, yes. and how the the palace should respond to that, and the politics involved in a prime minister balancing the will of the people versus the will. I, well, I liked it. I've seen it twice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that we got so political, embroiled, episode. deep into it. So next time we promise. It's bound to turn people off when you get into politics. You don't talk about politics and religion. Yes. But here, this is a safe zone. Politics make strange milk fellows. I milk think fellows, I think expression. you're right. So go out and vote. Uh, coming uh, in your primary. Yeah. In your primary colors. Yes. Show your primary colors by going to vote. Vote for F this movie. Cast your ballot. In Caster the Troy ballot. Caster Troy ballot. I love it. <laughs> Caster and Troy 2016. There's no Chad Michael Murray's <laughs> hanging. Chad Michael Murray's anywhere around here. So is that he's somebody, right?